The truth is out there, but we're going to need to look harder. This is what NASA said at its first public meeting on UFOs, a briefing that no one ever expected. There's a real stigma among people reporting events. And despite NASA's extensive efforts to reduce this stigma, the origin of the UAPs remain unclear, and we feel many events remain unreported. This is the same space agency that has spent decades debunking UFO sightings. So why is it suddenly talking about them? Which brings us to the question, are UFOs real? Is there truly life beyond Earth? Are we not alone in this big, wide universe? Also, why should you care? Hello and welcome. I'm Palki Sharma. And on this show, we'll try to read between the lines, the stated and the unstated, the obvious and the hidden, to bring you the full story. July 2nd, 1947, it was a quiet night in Roswell, a quaint town in the U.S. state of New Mexico. But a loud noise broke the silence. A craft crashed at a ranch near the town. Six days later, American forces made a shocking statement. They said they've recovered a flying disc from the ranch. The statement was soon retracted. They issued another statement. This time they said it was a weather balloon that had crashed. In fact, the government changed its story a few more times, which led to rumours. Some said it was a UFO. Others insisted they saw bodies of aliens. Either way, it became America's most infamous UFO incident. It inspired books, movies, a TV series based on the town, and even a saucer-themed McDonald's. The government may say aliens are not real, but the obsession with them is definitely real. Take movies, for example. There's E.T., the story of a boy befriending an alien. Or Men in Black, a top-secret organization that monitors alien activity. Halloween costumes, Facebook groups, and even pages dedicated to prove aliens are, in fact, real. The United States has an unhealthy obsession, and no, it's not burgers, it is aliens, or extraterrestrial life. But where did this obsession begin? And how are UFOs a part of this? Once again, we'll rewind to 1947. A pilot named Kenneth Arnold was flying his plane. Soon he took a detour to search for a downed aircraft. Arnold clearly did not find that plane. But what he did spot was a fleet of saucer-like aircraft. According to him, they were speeding across the sky. The next day, the term flying saucer was in the papers. This was the origin of modern UFO lore. But what exactly is a UFO? UFO stands for Unidentified Flying Object, an aerial phenomenon that you cannot really explain. Americans could not explain it, so they decided to investigate it. Thus began Project Saucer. But the name did not seem to take off like UFOs, so the project was soon renamed. It was called Project Sign. It began in 1948 and ran for only one year. That's because of an internal split. One group thought UFOs were not real. The other thought they were too dangerous. Neither could agree with the other side, so the project failed. But this just underlines the government's obsession with aliens and UFOs. Alien talk is not just jargon here. It reaches the highest levels of the government, like the Defense Forces, even the Pentagon. In fact, the Pentagon has a UFO office. Imagine this, thousands of taxpayer dollars being used to figure out if aliens are real. If it was any other country, it would be a big joke by now but not the United States. They and their government are invested in this. In fact, a U.S. military base is synonymous with UFOs. It's called Area 51. This is a U.S. Air Force installation in southern Nevada, a military installation in the middle of nowhere. In fact, it became so popular that thousands wanted to storm it. Of course, no aliens attended this event, and thankfully, no one broke into the base. But it just goes on to show how obsessed the U.S. is. However, Washington is not alone in wondering if we are alone. UFO sightings are a thing across the world. From Europe to China, the interest is real. But most of it is just speculation. India, too, has had its fair share of sighting claims. Locals have reported them in places like Pune, Kerala, even Ladakh. There are videos all over social media, but unlike America, we are not spending money to investigate them. 
and not just us. Most nations just treat it as any other viral phenomenon, observe and move on. Which brings us to the NASA briefing we started with, a one-of-a-kind public briefing on UFOs. NASA obviously had a more scientific name for them. They call them Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena, a.k.a. UAPs. Doesn't sound as good as UFOs, but that acronym had a 70-year head start. NASA went and investigated 800 incidents. And here are a few takeaways. First, most of the sightings can be explained like a Bart Simpson balloon mistaken for a UFO. But some remain a mystery. To understand UAP better, targeted data collection, thorough data curation, and robust analyses are needed. Such an approach will help to discern unexplained UAP sightings. But even then, there's no guarantee that all sightings will be explained. Second, NASA investigations are often limited because of privacy concerns. Third, stigma. Pilots may witness phenomena like these, but hardly talk about them. What NASA aimed to do with this briefing was perhaps shatter that stigma. So is this a new era for NASA, an era of transparency? The agency and its scientists have faced harassment over claims that they were hiding the truth about aliens. Hence this public briefing. A detailed report is expected to follow. But NASA's briefing did not answer the most asked question. Is there life beyond Earth? If you tuned into this briefing, looking for answers about aliens, you would have been pretty disappointed. For years, scientists too have ignored this. But the scientific community is going through a shift. They're starting to accept that there could be extraterrestrial life out there. I mean, look at the latest discoveries. I see oceans on the moons of both Jupiter and Saturn. Organic compounds found on asteroids and comets. Traces of a raging river found on Mars. All environments that are capable of supporting primitive life, all indications that life may exist beyond Earth. We haven't found any hard proof yet, but NASA says it is still exploring. In fact, its key priority remains search for life elsewhere in the universe. A principle of science is that you cannot rule anything out unless and until you're 100% sure. Any and every discovery relies on one thing, asking questions, and finding evidence. The universe is huge and ever expanding. We haven't unlocked all of its secrets yet. There is still so much that we do not know. But if you really believe aliens exist, NASA has just one thing to say, keep looking.